Okay, good evening. Um, I'm going to be showing you right now how to make a lovely spiral clipped staircase like this. Um, because um, clipping stairs obviously is important in things like T-Fortress 2 so that you don't, if people are jumping on the staircase when they go up the staircase, they don't fly off at some random angle. But it's exceptionally difficult um, on anything other than a really simple staircase. Um, so what we're doing is just showing you how to make something like this that players will glide happily up without a care in the world and it feels very nice to do. Um, it's a little bit of a convoluted method but um, we use the fantastic power of instances you have to ha have them in whatever um, version of Hammer you're trying to use um, to achieve this so what I'll do is create a new file um, there we go um, and what I'll do first is create our stairs that we're going to be using. So I'm going to go to archway, I'm going to use 24 segments for the full circle because that make, means that we get nice 15 degree rotations um, each time. So I'll do it on yeah, 512 by 512, we'll be fine. I'm going to make each stair 16 units high. Um, the width of the stairs 120 each times 24 sides you want full 360 degree circle you want to whenever you do something like this create a circle even if you're doing like a semicircle uh, because sometimes it can just warp the arches if you try and just do the semicircle so I just do full 360 degree circle and then cut away the bits I don't need so that's fine and we want 16 units um, increase in height each time so there we go um, I'm going to do for the purposes of this, use half the circle. And I want to make sure we get the right half. There we go. So that's that. You will need um, to make sure that you've got a cylinder in the middle, um, as in a hole <coughs> that your stairs rotate around. You don't want them all converging down to a point, otherwise it won't work. Because you've got to have got to have a little bit of space for the slope coming down. So what we're going to do is full detail them. Um, I'm going to texture them because I'm really OCD about that and it looks weird otherwise. There we go. Okay. So that's the stairway, the actual stairs. Now, to, in order to clip them, we'll need to ignore groups. It's like to the bottom stair here. I'm going to go to grid, um, grid size 8 because I want to. Um, and we'll clone that over here. Now we've got, in this instance, two points that align to the grid. We've got that one there and that one there. Because those are the ones um, that are at the start of the curve. Those two don't align to the grid. On this one, none of them align to the grid at all. Um, and the significance of that we'll see later. So here, I'm going to go with a clip. Text that with clip. And I'm going to merge. Um, you'll want to um, have, a, basically we're split, splitting this uh, four-dimensional, uh, four-dimensional, four-sided shape into two triangles. And the line we want to split down is from the top inside to the bottom outside. So we're going to be merging these vertices here, though it would be easier if we aligned it to the grid first. There we go, so these two now are aligned to the grid. I'm going to take these vertices here and merge them with the bottom ones. So we've got a triangle, put that right there, shift up. Right, and then what we want to do is take the front two vertices here, so that one and that one, merge them down. So we've got a sloping triangle. Now we need to create another clone of that. Light the grid. Clip it. Create another clone. Align that to the grid. And this one, we want to make the same triangle shape as before, so that we can use that to carve. This is one of the only times that you should be using carve. Um, Tools carve or shift controls, control shift C. That has carved the shape that we made before away from this shape. 
means we can now so this one is still should still be lined to the grid. We can put that there. Raise it up and merge that vertex with the one below. That's clipped one stair. Now, going back to what we were saying before, this one has absolutely no vertices aligned to the grid whatsoever, so it's going to be very difficult to get it back to the way it was. So what we need to um, do now is take these two, uh, but first make a note of place, I've placed this around the um, origin so, so we can see where the center is, um, and that is 128 units away from the center um, up to this first point here. We'll need to remember that uh, because we're going to be cutting that, um, making a new map, saving it. This will be our instance. Um, I'm going to put a temp stairway clip. Paste that. We're going to make sure it's aligned to the zero plane, which it is, and then we're going to align the inner vertex here, 128 units away from the centre. So that will be the point we'll be rotating around with our instance. So we'll save that, close that window, and insert an instance. Now that'll need to go there, and we'll need to, because TF2 Hammer doesn't like to remember your instances, we'll have to um, type the instance uh, name in manually, so that'll be 10 I think it was stairway underscore clip dot bmf ply and there we go that's our clip as it was before so now that we have that as an instance we're able to rotate around the middle here so what I need to do now is clone that up and because I chose 24 segments which is 12 in this half circle that means I, um, the rotations um, that we're going to do each time are 360 over 24 which is 15 degrees um, which is what the rotation snaps to if you've got that set in the options so I can literally clone rotate and make sure we actually align that there we go clone sorry, rotate clone Rotate, clone, and rotate. You can keep doing that, or copy these up, do a 90 degree turn, and there we go. That's looking pretty good, and once we've finished, I'm going to condense or collapse the instances selection because it can play havoc with BSP sometimes. Um, it's all right in Left 4 Dead, but anything pre-Left 4 Dead is a bit, it can go a bit strange. So now, we have a lovely smooth clipped spiral staircase. Now obviously if you've, um, whenever you make spiral staircases with a different radius or whatever, um, you're going to have to do that again uh, manually, but it is possible. I um, worked this out only in the last couple of days, um, and now I'm very happy with myself because all my staircases are really nice. Um, <coughs> you should be able to see why, uh, I mean if I, I will go and put a cylinder in the middle here, but you should be able to see why you have to have a hole in the centre of your spiral. Um, and it will be made a little bit clearer. So put this in, 24, boom. And what you're going to be having on each stair is that gradient there of the first triangle. And, um, obviously, if the if the hole in the middle of your spiral is bigger, that's um, is going to be shallower. And as the hole gets smaller, it gets steeper. And if you have no hole, it's a vertical line. And if you try and do a vertical line in terms of that, it just completely breaks. So that's why you can't. Uh, you've got to have a some sort of hole in the middle, it's not going to work if you don't, um, but it does look better if you've got it like that, and it makes for a wider staircase anyway. So there we go, hopefully that will help people, obviously you need to be a little bit experienced with all, all the brushwork of what you're doing, but it's fairly simple. 
Um, so there we go. Lovely smooth curved clips that will make you happy. Happy mapping everyone. <laughs>